1962 Impala Restoration Part 6 Door Skin Installation and Finish Out. Hit that subscribe button, leave us a like. Okay, let's get into this. So, parts 4 and 5 have led up to this point. And in the previous video, I installed the lower section of this door because of rust and uh, collision issues. Now, the main part of this door lower repair section has just been overlapped and you can see that in a previous video but this part is exposed this is the rear of the door and we don't want to overlap that and let that go or just finish it out with body work so what we're doing is I'm gonna split this cut it down the center and then meet the metal together and butt weld this and metal finish it and it's very important that we leave a gap in between. If you have two pieces of metal and they're touching and you MIG weld, now TIG welding is completely different, but if you MIG weld, it's going to cause you a lot of problems. And you can see me taking time, like here I am with the cutting wheel, making sure that I have a gap and then aligning the panels and then welding. Very important. And we're just sequencing uh, spot welds and a little brass backing. Yeah, there's another better shot of it. And this metal is pretty thin, so we definitely want to sequence the wells. Don't want to build up too much heat in one spot. And now that we've finished that, we're going to dress down those wells. And we want to leave as much weld in the back of this as possible. It doesn't have to be flush or finished out nice. Then we prepped it, shot a little bit of uh, epoxy primer on there, and we're moving to the outside. Now this side, we do want a little nicer. We want to try to metal finish this as much as possible and come back over with this skim coat of glaze, and that should take care of that, and uh, everything will look really nice. And here we go, mating the inner structure to the skin. Hey, there it is. All right, now we're going to clamp this gently into place. We don't want to over tighten the clamp and uh, put a ding in the door skin itself. Now I have a door skin hammer, that's a specially curved hammer, and you can see that this is a uh, multi-step process. You never want to try to uh, fold this edge in one, uh, one go round. And now I'm using a backing, it's a soft rubber backing. And that helps really minimize distortion also. And now I'm finishing it out. So I've used about three different body hammers on this. They're different faced. And now I am finishing it off, really crimping that down. And with this step, I mean, you take your time. And don't rush it. Try to be nice and even all the way down. Then uh, just repeat, keep repeating until the flange flattens out. And I finished it off with a flap wheel. And here's a shot of the finish out. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Now we're ready to move on to the next uh, flange. And here's a shot of the outside. And you can see using those techniques, 
there's really no damage to the uh, skin. You have to be really careful with that. I have damaged the outer skin before, so yeah, don't want to don't want to put damage into the parts. Okay, now ready for the bottom flange slash fold. And I'm using these duck build vice grips to start the fold over. And the hammering process. And I've already I've skipped to this. Uh, no need to go back through. You've already seen. And now I'm finishing off uh, just squeezing this fold tight. And now we're finishing off the uh, top edge of the door. So this would be the wing window mount. Area, I guess. And finishing off with the flap wheel. And so now we're going to come back and put a couple of uh, safety wells or spot wells in three or four places around the door just to keep that door skin in place. And there's a shot of the finished skin. Now before it's painted, we will come back and put caulking along the seam and that'll replicate the factory really nice and tight all the way around and we're going to scuff this uh, up this is bare steel and we're just going to put a really light coat of sandable primer on that yeah not much just enough to keep it from rusting and here it is finished door skin installed rust repair completed lower section installed hey stay tuned for uh part seven on the impala series and as always hey thanks for watching